Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Yasmin if you don't already know and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys how I keep myself smelling good all day and day in the summer heat. Which I will say is not the easiest and it has taken me a very long time to be able to master smelling good all day when the sun is beaming and I'm sweating and I'm sticky. Disclaimer, this video is not telling you that you can only smell good if you follow this routine. It is just how I keep myself smelling good. I don't need no more crap talkers, girl. I got enough of that. But I do want to go ahead and say this real fast because I seriously want to thank you guys. To all my real sisters out there, y'all know your girl has been attacked like crazy online lately. Mm. I got these super cute little Starbucks cups at Target. So motivating to drink out of. But anyway, there's like a little Chloe Yasmin hate train going on. And then there are my sisters that truly support me, understand me, and get me, and have my back 100. So before I hop into this video, I just want to go ahead and say thank you. Thank you to all my girls that have my back. Really do. Didn't claim they did and then didn't when everybody else was hating and they jumped on the train. Y'all really stood with me. This is not the only routine that makes you smell good, you guys. So if you have a routine that you love, stick to it. But if you're looking for a new routine, this is mine and it gets your girl right each and every time. So let's hop right into it. First things first, I want to go ahead and talk about water intake. Water intake, when I tell y'all, is so important. So you guys know I'm very big on drinking my water. I drink a lot of water. Some Somewhere along the way, I stopped drinking my water like that and I just stopped being consistent with it. Right now, I'm actually in the process of trying to create that habit again where I'm just like water, water, water. And it ain't easy, y'all. But water intake is extremely important when it comes down to hygiene. I don't get all into the research on why. All I know is that when I'm up on my water and I'm constantly drinking water, my odor is at a minimum downstairs area underarms those are the two main areas that i try to master smelling good all day is my underarms and my downstairs area i love when i get to the end of the day and i'm getting ready to go ahead and take off all of my dirty yucky clothes from the day and us women we all smell ourselves we all know this this ain't no secret and i have the most minimal odor or none at all because of the amount of water that i've drank now let's start hopping into everything else my next step to smelling amazing all day is fresh laundry not just fresh laundry but good smelling laundry laundry. The smell of your clothing really contributes to your overall smell. There have been days where I did not want to do my whole entire routine so I just put on my fresh clothes, yes ma'am, the deodorant and call it a day and I still got compliments on how I smell amazing. Sometimes I do Jordan's laundry and when I tell you guys he smells so good when I get done doing his laundry like he always smells good but it's just like for me personally now this is a personal thing I prefer for a man to smell like laundry than cologne. Laundry over cologne any day. Honestly, they should come out with like a laundry perfume. I gotta get connected with somebody that can help me start like a little perfume line because I have so many ideas. We need a laundry smelling perfume because if I'm being real, sometimes I just rather smell like laundry. There is some controversy on my little laundry routine. Laundry routine. I've never made like a specific video, but I've always included how I wash my laundry in my vlogs, etc., etc. And y'all be really mad about this dang routine. I don't know what to tell you. If your routine works for you, I'm so happy about that. But how I get my stuff to smell grrr, is gain. I like Tide, but gain is the smell good. It's the smell good. And my favorite fabric softeners. So the fabric softener is what I use mainly to make my clothes smell good. Like I said, a lot of controversy because I use so much. I use a lot of detergent. I mean, I don't know what to tell people. It's just what I do. I have no problem with it. And I always get compliments about how good my laundry smells. The strongest fabric softener Softener that I personally ever tried was the Downy Intense, but I kind of got tired of that scent. So I went ahead and moved on to the Downy Cool Cotton. So far, this is my favorite fabric softener, and I do use, I just gonna blow y'all away, could ditch what I do, but you ain't gotta do it, girl. I'm just telling y'all what I do. I use five to seven cups. And it works amazing for me. If I use like any less, my laundry for some reason just does not smell right. And smelling right to me is smelling good. So one cup again five to seven cups of downy um, fabric softener. I love Snuggle as well. The original blue Snuggle, oh my gosh. So Snuggle, downy intense, and downy cool cotton. 
girl but the downy intense is very intense and it will have your clothes smelling extremely strong when it comes down to the downy intense you don't have to use as much fabric softener but i'm a strong smelling person you know i don't like to smell lightweight i like to smell very strong that's just me and i ain't never had nobody and even if they did but i never had nobody tell me my perfume was too strong it was just one person this was the years ago it was my driver's my driver's ed teacher she was an absolute pervert it was really sick and she made a scene when i got into the car like oh, 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 oh. and the two people in the back when i tell you they were like getting secondhand embarrassment from her because she literally was saying that she could go to the hospital she could die like it was bad it was one guy one girl they were like yeah she was definitely over exaggerating you smell absolutely amazing and you smell good every single day and then the girl asked me what perfume i had on so anyways, my mama shut that down so dang quick. The next day, my mama dropped me off and she was like, yeah, I was telling her yesterday about her perfume. My mama was like, oh no, baby, I, I always tell my daughter to smell good. All day, in day, baby, all day, in day. That's my mama. My mama got my back 100% and I love her for it. Hair, hair, hair. Girl, we gotta talk about the hair because this is something that is not talked about enough, okay? The dirty scalp smell. Never liked it. Never, never could like it never did it's one of my personal hygiene pet peeves is the smell of a dirty scalp i've been in line with people behind them and i could smell their hair i've been outside and the sun you know is beaming on their scalp and i smell their hair not in a good way not in a good way so let's talk about it i'm not gonna try to like suggest a shampoo because girl i don't know too much about hair but i do love my olaplex and i've also been loving these whey products or whatever but whatever shampoo you're going to use please 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 don't just use a dime size use a good amount and get that scalp together by together i mean get the palms of your fingers not your actual nails because that can cause dandruff etc etc the palms of your fingers and get all in there i actually be low-key scrubbing my scalp for like two minutes straight each time because i scrub twice in the shower i double cleanse my my hair because if I'm being completely honest I am a little bit more prone to the scalp smell some people are more prone to it than others and I'm a little bit more prone to it so I really get in there and focus 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 on that scalp baby on that scalp I do wash the length of my hair but it's the scalp that really holds the odor unless you do live in a house with smoke etc etc then the length of your hair will have more of an odor and you can focus on that as well but all that trying to get in and out with that scalp baby no no. On top of making sure that my scalp is thoroughly cleansed, I also use hair perfumes. Now I have so many different kind of hair perfumes that I couldn't even grab all of them because I have so many. So I've actually been really enjoying this Dylan Blue hair perfume that I got off of Macy's. This is a little stronger than most hair mist or hair perfumes because it's an actual perfume, like an actual hair perfume. I don't spray too much because it can dry out your hair, but I do love hair perfumes to keep my hair fresh, especially in the summertime because once again the sun does make your hair smell a little you know not as so not so fresh but this is the dylan blue hair perfume super cute packaging and it really does last in my hair this is actually jordan's favorite in my hair low-key my least favorite but his favorite so girl i'll just be doing it my carolina herrera one that i showed you guys in my other smell good all day in day video this one is so strong this is the strongest hair perfume that i own so macy's 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 a little pricey i believe it's it's like $50 but it lasts in your hair for days. Pacifica also came out with these new hair and body mist and they sell these at Target and Ulta. Those are the only places that I know have them and I have the Sunrise Moon and then the Dream Moon. But yeah, they have these you guys. I'm not gonna lie, these low key last a little longer than the Versace one. These are actually very long lasting and extremely affordable for how long they do last. So like I said, girl, I have all kinds of hair perfumes. I also love using the Sol de Janeiro um, body mist. These are hair hair and body mist hair and body fragrance mist this one just has like a victoria's secret vanilla kind of smell and then i think everybody knows what this Charosa 62 smells like but these are also very nice in the hair so those are all of the hair fragrances that i'm showing you guys today but i have so many because i love to have good smelling hair now on the days that i do not want to wash my hair or don't really need to wash my hair but still want my hair to be like fresh all throughout the day i use dry shampoo i'm not gonna lie i still use dry shampoo even if my
my hair doesn't really need dry shampoo like my scalp isn't really oily like yesterday it did not need it but since I knew I was gonna be in the Sun all day I put this all over my scalp this is the Sol de Janeiro dry shampoo in the scent Rosa 62 this is my top favorite girl this is my top favorite this is the only dry shampoo that lasts for days in your hair the smell I don't really know about anything else but the smell because I don't really pay attention to the whole sucking up oil stuff i was outside all day yesterday in the beaming sun and when i tell you guys my scalp was still fresh and still smelled like this oh my gosh absolutely amazing girl i went swimming and everything yes yes i'm getting out trying new things girl i am getting out trying new things i haven't gone swimming gone on a water ride nothing of the sort and i can't even tell you how long because of my acne i had a little bit of a slip up coming down one of the water slides and my freaking top came up halfway if you are a lifeguard and you see a sister and something didn't came loose, don't just look at her. Say, hey, 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 come here. Hold on, let me get in the water to help you real quick. Don't just sit there. Females be haters nowadays because I'll be quick to let a sister know. I'll be quick to let a sister know. Hey, girl, hold on. Let me pull you to the side real quick. But yes, girl, that dry shampoo is the bomb. Now let's go over how I cleanse my body in the summertime. If you don't already know this, last year my regimen for staying fresh all day in the summertime was to use an exfoliating washcloth or an exfoliating set of gloves but I changed my mind on that yesterday when I freshly exfoliated my skin and I got a little bit of a, I got a little bit of a sunburn right here and like a little bit of redness going on on my arms and I was like girl I bet that wouldn't have happened had I not exfoliated my skin and my mama she never got a sunburn in her life and she said I'm talking about some she got like a little bit of a burn and I'm like okay so it's most definitely the exfoliating gloves. So, sorry y'all, we gotta scratch that out. We gotta go back to the regular washcloths cause baby, I'm not gonna take any chance. Don't get me wrong, I still exfoliate. I still use my exfoliating washcloths and my exfoliating gloves two or three times a week. But every day, very dangerous. So, good old washcloths, girl, we back in business. In the summertime, you guys, I have to use my Dial Antibacterial Bar Soap. My favorite right now is actually the white bar. It gets so soapy and it's like the strongest smelling one apart from the gold bar. But I haven't really been messing with the gold bar too much. Dial bar soap, y'all. La chilla dial bar soap. Just dial bar soap, y'all. First things first, get your body wet with water. I always grab my hand and just get my armpits wet as well because it just makes it easier to clean my armpits when I have, you know, kind of massage them with the water and kind of got some of the deodorant off. And then I grab my dial bar soap. I grab my wet washcloth because I have put it in the water you go back and forth go back and forth oh a bunch of fuzzies coming out go back and forth until it's super soapy i'll wet it some more and go back and forth go back and forth until it's super soapy this is weird y'all but this is just me i clean my armpits separate from my body so the tag side is what i clean my armpits with i just feel like the deodorant shouldn't be on my body so tag side is for my underarms other side is for my body so Clean my underarms, clean my underarms, clean my underarms, clean my underarms. Why I say to use Dial Bar Soap is because a lot of people don't know this, but why we struggle with underarm odor half of the time is because we didn't get all of the old deodorant from our previous application off. And then we go and apply more and we still have a film over our underarms. We need a clean slate. Dial Bar Soap is one of the only soaps that gets that off like this. Personally, I have sensitive underarms. I can't just keep scrubbing them and scrubbing them and scrubbing them. They'll be raw, red, burning, and hurting. So Dial Bar Soap comes in handy for me. Once I get this washcloth extremely soapy, not somewhat, but extremely soapy, then I'm able to go ahead and go under my armpits and get all of that deodorant off. When I get done rinsing my armpits, I'm always able to tell whether I still have some deodorant on or whether I don't. If you still have like that silicone kind of feel from the deodorant, you still got deodorant. If not, you're good. Personally, I still cleanse my underarms twice. Same applies for my body. I clean behind my ears, my neck, my belly button, everywhere except for my behind. I have a whole separate routine for that and I will go ahead and link that down below because it is, it is a whole separate routine girl once i get done with my underarms i flip the washcloth off get more soap a lot of soap and i begin to clean my whole entire body now the thing with going over your body is you don't want to do a 30 second clean i always cleanse my body for a good amount of time i, I don't know why but yeah i know why the odor's not going to come back as fast if you cleanse your body two to three times that three time mark is really going to get you right but not only is the three time mark going to get you right it's the amount of time that you do take 
cleansing your body. So yes, I do clean my body two to three times. It depends on what I know I'm gonna be doing that day. So like a day like yesterday was a three time because I was gonna be out all day and in the water. So all of my smell goods were gonna come off and then the sun's gonna be beaming, etc., etc. And we're still on our dial bar soap. Your first cleanse of your body should be dial bar soap to get an extremely clean slate. Yesterday I did that twice and then I went in with my body wash of choice. Y'all know I'm not very consistent when it comes down to like products. I like to switch my products around. I do not like using the same products for forever. That's just me. So I use different body washes like all the time. Right now my top favorite that gets my skin smelling so good and I will say not to focus too much on the body wash smelling super good because realistically it's not going to last on your skin like that hours later. Maybe when you're fresh out of the shower but hours later the body wash is not going to be lasting on your skin like that um, my top favorite that I suggest to everybody is the fresh coconut and cotton when I tell you guys this is bomb 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 absolutely crazy how good this smells so I grab my body wash put it all over my washcloth I get a good amount you guys I rub my washcloth back and forth a little bit okay okay and then I begin washing my body okay going in circles washing my body putting a little bit of elbow grease okay getting all the corners and all the crevices this is optional but it does have help me to prevent my underarms from smelling a little wild shaving my underarms so let me actually go ahead and grab my razor because I don't have it on me this right here is my holy grail you guys for my downstairs area and my underarms two sensitive areas this prevents all the irritation the bumps the just all of it girl very gentle but gets the job done so as far as my armpits I do notice that I do have a lot less odor when I do keep them shaved and this is the only razor I use it is the Gillette Venus pubic hair and skin razor I have this up on my Amazon storefront storefront link down below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase anything off of there I do get a super tiny commission no pressure just really appreciate it if you guys do I haven't really been too consistent with speaking on it and everything like that and you guys still have been clicking the link and buying stuff and I'm, I'm so grateful shaving my armpits is a part of my routine especially in the summertime I always paired up with this this is also on my Amazon storefront I always paired up with this Gillette Venus two-in-one cleanser and shave gel um, my armpits girl I used to compare my armpits to just about every one of my friends growing up because I was extremely insecure about them I didn't have the kind of armpits that just look like regular skin on your armpits like it matched your skin like this skin going into my armpits was not the same my armpits had darker spots and more roughy bumpier spots and they just didn't look like the friends that I was hanging out with armpits or whatever I feel like I just went around in a circle that I don't even know if it makes sense but all I know is I compared myself so much to people and now I'm finally okay with my armpits and I know that I'm absolutely beautiful so if you don't have those perfect armpits baby we are absolutely beautiful it ain't nothing wrong with it and we gonna keep it pushing beautifully okay I'm more prone to like bumps and sensitivity under, underneath my underarms so these two I have to have to um shave my underarms y'all i'm talking too much i'm getting a little confused but remember the longer you cleanse your body the longer it's going to take for those odors to come back once again my how to thoroughly clean your behind video is going to be linked down below as well as my updated downstairs area shaving routine now as far as feminine hygiene goes i'm not going to talk about it too much because i feel like i have spoken so much about the products that i do use once again water intake is the key to a fresh downstairs area mainly um but we all know your girl just used baby dub i have like this lavender chamomile one right now i usually never use this on my downstairs area but i had it in my closet and it doesn't irritate me um my favorite is the unscented one and i suggest that one to everybody as well as a baby washcloth both from target i'll be wanting to target to get all my little feminine hygiene needs but i will say that if you are using baby dub and you're like girl i'm sorry but this is not working for me i do suggest cleansing your downstairs area twice and also allowing your body to get adjusted it's kind of like us using all these aluminum deodorants for so long and then we're starting to use the non-aluminum deodorants and our body has to adjust to using that if you're using stuff like summer's eve vagisil things of that sort your body's gonna take a while to adjust not a while but it's gonna take some time to adjust to the baby dove and once your body adjusts to the baby dove i'm telling you it's one of the best decisions you can make for your downstairs area if you don't like baby dove cetaphil also has baby wash i don't think i tried the avino one but there are other non-scented baby Baby washes out there but enough of feminine hygiene you guys that is all I do I cleanse my lady bits twice with the baby dove 
I don't even take azo probiotics anymore. I probably will come back around, but I just don't really need them. I noticed that that and just drinking a lot of water keeps me fresh all now, day. Now we are all cleansed out of the shower and we got to moisturize. Now in the summertime, I always make sure that my moisturizer is a very strong smelling moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my two favorite lotions ever because they smell amazing and they mix with my chemistry so well. This is the strongest body lotion personally I've ever owned apart from Bath & Body Works and this is a lot better for your skin um, than Bath & Body Works and I love the lotion company company because they're on Amazon. I found them on Amazon, Amazon Prime, and they're a father-daughter business. Now, coming from a girl that, you know, didn't have the best relationship with her father, I think it's the most beautiful thing in life to see, you know, a father and a daughter create a business and be doing so well. Because, baby, this is my favorite. We all know I love to smell like powder. Okay, so this baby powder lotion I've spoken about so, 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 so much, and this is up on my Amazon storefront. They also just dropped a baby powder body scrub that smells so good just like this. So if I had to suggest a super strong smelling lotion that's actually good for your skin, I would definitely suggest this baby powder lotion. It's moisturizing. It's great for sensitive skin. It is absolutely amazing. And it lasts on your skin, baby, it lasts. I I can smell underneath my shirt, take off a jacket, get a whiff of it, pull down my, you know, pants to go to the bathroom and I'm be like, woo, baby powder. Now this right here is much cheaper and you can find it at your local Walmart, CVS, Target, etc, etc. It's not going to last as long, but when I tell y'all, it just makes all my perfume smell super good as well as the baby powder. This just makes all of my perfume smell 10 times better. It's very moisturizing and this mixes with my chemistry so Oh my gosh, well, it is the Jergens Hydrating Coconut Lotion. This is so good, you guys. I am not lying. Like, I love this scent of this Jergens Coconut Lotion. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so sorry if the camera angle just changed. I mean, I know it did, but my battery was dead, and I'm like, girl, if your battery's dead, that means that you've been filming for an hour. There's no need to talk that long about how to smell good. Now that I'm done moisturizing my body and my body is all moisturized and smelling good, it's time to go ahead and put on my fresh clothing, okay? Now we're gonna go in with our deodorants. Why am I holding up two deodorants? Because I'm getting ready to go ahead and share with you guys my deodorant trick. Uh, uh, uh. I put my mama onto this and she has not gone back. So this is what I do. I put my swipes of deodorant, okay, yes ma'am. I put my swipes of deodorant, okay, yes ma'am. After that, I go in with my dry spray. Now, I love these two together because they match. The cucumber and green tea kind of scent. Um, but when I get done with my stick, I go ahead and shake this and I spray it on my underarms. Just a little bit, all right? All right. And our armpits are good. But little do you know, it is very important to switch out your deodorants when you're noticing that it's not working as good as before. When you're noticing that your body is uh, fighting that dang deodorant and the deodorant ain't fighting your armpits no more, it's time to switch it out because now your body is used to that deodorant and it's not working anymore. So you have to go ahead and switch out your deodorants. I have a couple favorites that I go ahead and go in between. Okay, I love my Dove Advanced Care, but this is honestly like the cheapest Dove deodorant and it smells so good. It works so good and it's like a holy grail. I'm sorry that I'm showing some products and not others, but this is so good. Now it is time for the Cherry Topper, girl. We all know what the Cherry Topper is and that is body spray and perfume, baby. I have not been using body spray for the past forever until this until this body spray dropped and i'm addicted and this has been my base every single day for all of my fragrances this fresh coconut and cotton by bath and body works oh my gosh the amount of compliments i receive from a body spray instead of perfume even though i always mix it with the perfume is kind of wild y'all don't even know you don't know unless you know i spray my clothing so so good y'all like when i tell y'all i spray my clothing up and down up and down up and down <coughs> this right here this is like a stress reliever i can feel it it's that good like i'm talking this scent is like none other i've never had a body spray last as long as this body spray and that is hands down facts now body spray is 10 times more affordable than actual perfume so if you can only afford body spray Honestly, my favorite right now is this fresh coconut and cotton and you will get compliments on this junk. But, you know, I got like a little bit of a perfume addiction, which I'd rather be addicted to that than, you know. So I always mix with a perfume. Lately, it's been body spray and perfume, but most days it's perfume and perfume. These two perfumes right here, girl, are on my top favorite list. There are certain days where I just don't really wanna go through my whole perfume spraying process. So I pull out the big dogs. These are the big dogs. These come in, you don't need that much spraying and it lasts yeah this one's much stronger this is the coco 
Mademoiselle by Chanel. I do not like the other Coco Mademoiselles. I only like the one with the cloudy top and the ring or the gold border around the Coco Mademoiselle. This is the only Coco Mademoiselle I enjoy and like. This is my second bottle. It's almost like every single time I wear this, I'm complimented. Gorgeous. And then this is the Idol by Lancome. This is my second bottle and it's so nice. Mm. This is so nice, y'all. This is Idol by Lancome. Two fragrances I definitely suggest. True. Two fragrances, you can come out of a whole 24-hour workout, whole football game, basketball, football, tennis. I think I already said football. And still smell like it. I found that mixing my fragrances made them last longer. Like the actual liquid last longer. Made it last longer on my body. I found that it made it so much more fun because it's customizable. Nobody's gonna smell like you. And the list goes on. But I love doing that. But I do strictly spray my body sprays and my perfumes just on the clothing. The fibers in your clothing is what's gonna make the fragrance last all day. Not your skin. It's not good for your skin. It's drying. It can cause you to break out. And it's just not gonna last so just spray it on your clothing think about it when you go into a restaurant or somebody's house and they just got done cooking and you walk out you smell your clothes smell like food you smell your skin you don't smell like food your clothes do. And me personally, y'all, I don't like to use a little bit of perfume. I like to spray a lot of perfume. I know with like the real glass eau de parfums, people only spray like three sprays where I spray like a million, but that's just me. With all that being said, that is how I get myself to smell fresh all day in the summertime. But I do have three tips, very important tips that I wanna go ahead and share with you guys. Number one, I'm kind of upset that I didn't share these with you guys, which I should have. Um, these are my new favorite scissors from my downstairs area. These little baby trimming scissors i have them up on my amazon storefront girl when i tell y'all i don't always feel like shaving if i'm being honest i rarely ever do shave but when i do shave that is my routine link down below but i rarely shave i'm not really like a shaving girl i don't really care for the whole baldness going on you know so i just trim because if not i'm a little irritated like i'm itchy these scissors came in handy so well the other day these are like baby nail cutting scissors or whatever the heck girl they're so sharp and they make sure that you do not get nicked the best scissors in life to just trim your downstairs area hair i'm a trim and sucker okay i'd rather trim than shade that's just me okay the next tip is going to be changing your sweaty underwear throughout the day i get a lot of odor in the downstairs region when i'm leaving sweaty underwear on all day change out your underwear as well as wiping throughout the day as needed i was so glad that i brought some wipes to michigan adventures yesterday because when i tell y'all i'm not trying to leave no chlorine downstairs i was wiping Girl, ain't had no showers. I said, well, I wouldn't have gotten it anyway, but I'm just saying. But um, wiping in the summertime is very important. Not only in your downstairs area, your behind, but also your underarms if you do need to reapply deodorant. And these are my favorite wipes for all over my body because these are the only wipes that do not irritate your downstairs area. These are the Summer's Eve fragrance-free wipes. I do not use any Summer's Eve but the fragrance-free wipes. And they're the only ones that are fully submerged in a good liquid that actually does clean your body and clean your downstairs area. So I love the and I use these for all over my body so just continue to go ahead and change out your underwear change out your underwear and your sweaty clothing um, and wipe up changing out your sweaty clothing is also very important oh and I already actually shared the last tip which is switching out your deodorant that is my complete summer smell good routine we all know my hygiene routine and my like little smell good routines they switch up all the time but currently this is it back when i was a little child it wasn't easy mama didn't always have a job to take care of me but i love her because she tried so hard to do her best and when she fell short god did all the rest that's why I sing by what he's done for me It's been so much that I couldn't even tell it if I tried mm -mm. I sing just to let the whole world know That we've all got something to be grateful for So lift your voice Hey, 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 everybody I got something to say I met this man named Jesus And I ain't never been the same